All right, so let's look at another question, another physics question on Newton's law of gravitation. The question here says two particles of masses, one kilogram and two kilogram, are placed at a separation of 50 centimeters. Calculate the force acting between them. Also find the initial acceleration of each particle, assuming only mutual gravitational force acts on them. Okay. Right, so how do we solve this question here? Um, quickly, I'm going to sketch this. Right, solution. So, solution. Quickly, I'm going to sketch this. Um, so, first things first, I'll just have my diagram here. This. We said two particles here. This one here. And then this one here. We'll call the first particle M1. We'll call the second one there m2 um let's take m1 as one kilogram and m2 as two kilogram so say m1 it's equal to one kg m2 is equal to two kg so we have this um okay and they said their distance of separation is 50 centimeters so i have this and i have this distance between them from here to here so it's about 50 centimeters so this here and then this here this is 50 cm all right you're asked to find the force of attract the force of attraction or the force acting between them all right let's get the force acting between them for this case here i would have to obviously use um newton's law of universal gravitation right which says that the which says that the force between them that's m1 and m2 is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance apart. Mathematically, F would be equal to G M1 M2 all over R squared, all right? Where R is simply the distance between them. In this case, R is equal to 50 cm. Convert this to meters, I'll divide this by 100. Right? To convert this from cm to meters, divide by 100. And if I punch this, this will give you about 0 0.5 in meters. So I have 0 0.5 meters. All right, so the force between them would therefore be F. Of course, G2 is also a constant. And the value of G is 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. All right, it's a constant. Let's impute these values here and see what we get. We'd we'll have that F is equal to G. 6.67 times 10 to the power minus 11 into m1 and then m2 from what we have here m1 is about one kilogram m2 is two kilogram so it becomes this into m1 one kilogram m2 two kilogram this all over this all over r squared we're going to use the meter value which is 0 0.5 so this all over 0 0.5 this squared so if I work on this question here, this will be equal to, so we'll have the F, it's equal to, so I'll just go straight to punching everything to get my final answer there. If I punch everything to get my final answer, what I have here is 5.34 approximately times 10 to the power minus 10. Since I'm calculating for force, this will give you Newton, all right? So if you punch correctly, you have this as your answer, all right? So punch this this thing here, this fraction here. Punch this correctly. You have your answers: 5.34 times 10 to the power minus 10. Of course, force is in Newton. All right, we've gotten the first part. The second part says find the initial acceleration of each particle, assuming only mutual gravitational force act on them. How do we find acceleration? Now recall, recall from Newton's second law. Recall that we said force is equal to what's there mass times acceleration if i make acceleration to be subject to the formula i'll have to divide this by mass divide this by mass this cancels this so it means that acceleration is equal to the ratio of force to mass all right let's take for mass m1 for the first mass for mass m1 we'll call the acceleration a1 so a1 will be equal to f all over mass m1 and that's equal to f is 5.34 times 10 to the power minus 11 
times 10 to the power minus 10 all over m1 is 1 kilogram. That becomes all over 1. If I punch this, this will give you the same thing. 5.34 times 10 to the power minus 10. Don't forget that in this question, I'm calculating acceleration. And for acceleration, your unit there is meter per second squared. So we have this. All right, let's do the same thing for, for A2 or for mass M2. So for mass M2, what do we have? We have that A2 is equal to F all over M2. All right, so this will be equal to F. We said is 5.5. 3, 4 times 10 to the power minus 10. This all divided by the value of M2 is 2. The second mass was 2 kilogram. So let's see this. Divide this by 2. Um, okay. If you punch this correctly, your answer should give you about 2.67 approximately. 2.67 times 10 to the power minus 10 of course your calculative for acceleration becomes meter per second squared all right so basically this is how you find the force between them and the acceleration or their initial acceleration all right so this is how you get that question okay i've prepared over 100 videos on physics chemistry mathematics and for each of these classes i have discussed past questions for the last 10 years all right to get access to these courses and past question revision, simply visit my website www.jonahimane.com forward slash courses and then you see the jam slash wire classes. All right, so you can add to cards and then get it. Okay, but don't forget you have to create an account to the website. Okay, so register an account to the website and you can now proceed to get the courses. It gives you a lifetime access to these courses. You can also get them from my channel membership. All right, you can join my channel membership so you can see the jam slash YX channel membership. All right, you can also um, you can also sign up for it. I'll leave a link to both my website and the link to join my channel membership in the video description. All right, it gives you exclusive access. All right, you get exclusive access to some of my videos that you won't find here. All right. All right then. So if you enjoyed this video, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to, as usual, hit the like button. All right. So like this video, leave a comment. For the comment, um, if you have a question, leave the question in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, also let us know in the comment section. You can also suggest other topics you'd want us to treat. Also in the comment section. If it's your first time, or if you're yet to subscribe, please do well to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. So that it gets notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.